Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vani here, and today I'm going to be showing you different types of turrets in vaults. We're going to be covering gun turrets, laser turrets, rail guns, and anti-air turrets. Hopefully I didn't miss out any other ones. If I did, they would still be covered. At. So first of all, we're doing the gun turrets here, as you see in front of me. Now the gun turrets are used to shoot players or mobs, such as creepers and skeletons. And I've created like type of wall. So this is an example how you could use them. You could use this to stop players coming in your base. So if that was my base. And also to stop mobs to get getting in and destroying what you've created. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Firstly, you want to make the turret platform, which you need one basic circuit, four steel plates, piston, two chests and a battery and once you've made that you just place it down this is kind of the base for every type of turret so you're going to need to make these for I think every type of the different turrets uh, now to make the actual gun turret itself you're only going to need four steel and a basic circuit so it's relatively cheap for how uh, how efficient it is then you just connect it to a power source I just have an infinite battery there as soon as you connect it, it should start to rotate like that. Now to you're going to need some ammunition here, as you see. So to make it, you're going to need bullet shells. These are made out of two ingots. And then what you use bullet shells for is to make the actual bullet. And to make the bullet, you're going to need one gunpowder and one iron ingot with eight, uh, seven bullet shells to make 16 bullets. All you do is just place a bullet in there, and this will be used to fire. Uh, this access panel is actually very important. Uh, for example, if you're on a team with friends against maybe an enemy team, you want to put your friend's name in. So if my friend's name was Bob29, you click enter. This means that the turret will not fire upon me and this user, however, every other player will fire on. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to spawn a couple of creepers. I'm going to run to my safety, and there you go. As you see, the turrets successfully take out the creepers without any hassle. It does use quite a bit of bullets up, but it's pretty efficient. Uh, the, t the turret's uh, firing distance is also 11 blocks. Uh, around in a circumference so it's quite a far uh, region so you could make like a wall around your base and every 11 blocks have a turret and that would make uh, literally a defense system against any players from entering and any mobs from entering and the next thing I'm going to show is the laser turret so I'll be right back hey guys I'm back and now I'm going to be showing you the laser turret uh, the laser turret is essentially the same as the gun turret, however, as you see, it sets mobs and players on fire, and it only runs off electricity. So if you have a good source of electricity, this thing is pretty much, it lasts forever. Bye bye slime. Um, to make this, it's still very cheap, it just takes four glass, two steel plates, and a basic circuit. Um, the rate the rate of fire is a bit quicker, I believe. However, the damage is taken away from the gun turret, so it does less damage. But I could expect that because it does do. Uh, it doesn't take any ammunition. So yes, that is the laser turret. Now I'm going to be showing you the rail gun. I'm back with the rail gun, the almighty rail gun in front of me. It's a massive, massive turret. I won't even call it a turret, more like a cannon. It, it works differently than the others, actually. Firstly, to make it, this one's actually very expensive. So you're going to need three diamonds, two steel plates, a gun turret, and an elite circuit, which makes up with two advanced circuits, lapis, and six gold. So this is quite a costly one. However, you will see it is a very, very powerful one. It's quite overpowered for but um, the bullets, you can either make railgun bullets, which are used with for one diamond per two bullets. It's ridiculous. Or you can make 
antimatter bullets, which I believe aren't even cheap also. Let me find it. So yeah, one antimatter ouch. So these bullets are really, really pricey. But if you're rich, uh then this this is the thing you want. So let me get a battery out. Infinite battery, my best friend. And place it in there. However, one of the consequences is that to fire this you need a redstone or a redstone source, so there. But watch this. Yep, that is it. But every time you want to fire, and there's a recharge time, obviously, you're going to have to flip the switch, which I don't know how to make a redstone pulse, but I believe that you could make a redstone pulse so you don't have to constantly flip the switch like this. So I'm sorry that I wasn't able to create one, which I tried to. Um, however, as you see, it does do a lot of damage. I'll place the antimatter one so you can see that one. I don't think it has much difference. And no, I don't think so. So yeah, that's the railgun. It's expensive, but it's destructive. Uh, it fires quite slowly, but if you have like a two-man uh, team, one could flip the switch, another could aim. For like that building, for example. And there. There you go, see? So it's good to rain death upon your enemies and mobs. So the next one we'll do is the anti-air gun. Hey guys, I'm back, and miraculously this anti-air gun survived that railgun spree I was on, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, it's in the name what this thing does. It stops any missiles, or I believe, from just hitting, so it is an anti-air gun after all, turret. Uh, this one is also relatively expensive. It just takes one diamond, but this is a really, really good defense system. It's cheaper than the uh, EMP one I showed before. I'm not sure if it's as effective, but it is efficient. So I have a homing missile over there. And I'm going to show you what it does. So as you see the missile launch, as it comes close to the anti-air, it should automatically... There you go. That's what it does. It is very good. However, when I tried it with like four or five uh, missiles coming at a time, it did not get every single one. But I think that if you make three or four of these on like your main cities or bases, that it will be able to stop most missiles along with your EMP towers to make a, it completely indestructible uh, to missiles. Now, if you're wondering, I forgot to mention this, that's a number there on the top. That's on top is actually the health of the turret. So every time I hit it, it loses health, if you're wondering. So yes, that is everything on ICMB turrets, I believe. That was m every single turret. If I missed any, I will put it in future tutorials. Thank you for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye!